I believe in the blood of Jesus that washes white as snow. I believe in the power of the gospel that still makes the broken whole. I believe the curse of sin was broken when they rolled away that stone. I believe, I believe, I believe as I bow. familiar with the story about the woman at the well where the story in John 4 where the disciple talks about Jesus meeting her at the well and not ignoring her sin but welcoming her to trust him through the knowledge of her sin. Jesus is so gentle in this moment he actually tells this woman he knows what she's been up to and yet invites her to a saving relationship with him. There's a fascinating story that happens where she goes back to the town, tells all these people, they come out dressed in Jesus as well, and they see all this happening. And meanwhile, the disciples are somewhere in the midst. You know, I know this because in verses 36 through 38, there's actually a conversation that John writes down about between them and Jesus just after this incident. The conversation goes like this. He says, um, Jesus and the disciples are talking, and Jesus says, even now, you know, the one who reaps, and he's talking about the harvest of somebody's heart trusting in him. He's using an agrarian metaphor about harvesting the fields. And Jesus says, you know, the one who reaps uh, draws a wage and harvests a crop for eternal life and so that the sower and the reaper may be glad together. Thus the saying, one sows and another reaps is true. In fact, I sent you to reap what you have not worked for and others have done the hard work and you have reaped the benefits of their labor. Now, Jesus, in one of these famous stories, um, draws out attention to the disciples to tell them, you know, sometimes you reap and you do the incredibly hard work of sowing and sowing and sowing to somebody's lives. And sometimes you get to reap the benefits of what somebody else has done. You know, I tend to think about how, how crazy complex the networks of how many people sowed into my life before my life was one to Jesus and how many people I've sown into and, and how many people I've been able to reap other people's sowing. Right? And I think about heaven. I think about this image that maybe God in heaven will let us see all the complex network of how that worked. And we'll be able to see all the people that we led to him and are forever in eternity. But we'll also be able to see all the ways that we just sowed into people and did the hard work and told them they were loved in the name of Jesus and forgave them in the name of Jesus and helped encourage them and provided for their needs in the name of Jesus. And yet somebody else down the line got to reap those incredible benefits. So friends, today, as we think about introducing more people to Jesus. Don't miss an opportunity to sow, doing the incredibly hard work, or to reap, introducing somebody to him, that Jesus died for them. He was buried, he rose again and forgave their sin and exchanged their death and sin for new life in him forever. 
So whether you sow or whether you reap, we join hands together and rejoice that God uses both for his glory. God, thank you for all the ways that we are given opportunities to love people towards you today, to be kind to people that might be drawn into your presence because of our kindness. God, don't let us get discouraged just because we're not able to reap as much as we want to reap, but help us to continue to sow, knowing that you are faithful to weave this complex network together to bring those to you who love you, God. In your name, amen.